I am David Jamana and I will show you today the workflow for check customer mandatory fields for standard NAV versus a GLIS workflow. So first we see here in standard NAV workflow, the workflow created for this purpose. It has two events, one with a condition and some responses added to it. One is add a record restriction and show a message. And the other is remove the record restriction and show another message. So let's go to a customer. For example, this one here. If I change now any field and then leave the customer, we get this message set up with please enter all mandatory fields. Now when I go back to that customer, and fill the field missing, that is here credit limit, and leave the record, I get the other message I have set up, that now everything's fine. And now we see the Agilis workflow. In comparison, we start with the setup here under templates, the workflow template we have set up. This contains one to do in this case for the check mandatory fields. This is a field examination that has these conditions set up. And now we can see for a customer what's the outcome. So here is a to-do already created for a customer with check mandatory fields. Now I click here on the examine fields button and see the values that are already there. The last value, the credit limit that is still missing. So I enter here now 30,000 euros. And then I see that the to-do is gone. So as a summary, you see here that our Giles workflow has the special page for mandatory field checks where you have all the information at hand. For example, which condition is to be met and which one of them is already met. And you can directly work on that page and don't have to enter the record again. Second thing is that our workflow can react to different kinds of events and not only to a record changed. And, by the way, our workflow can use every table enough for this kind of to-do. You, you don't have to code anything for that. Thank you and goodbye.